everybody. As promised, videos based on questions. So I wanna give a shout out to Erica. If you are watching this video, excellent question. And here's the answer for everybody else. And if you're out there being like, oh my goodness, what was this amazing question? Let me tell you. Question was over in widgets. Scrolling down, you can see we have some spinner options, which is fabulous. The question pertained to spinner with student names. So we know that if we invite our students to log into our lesson, the spinner with student names will auto populate all of the students that are logged in. Well, what happens if you're not inviting your students to your lesson or somebody is absent for the day, but you wanna keep them within your spinner grid? Can we make customized spinners, for example, for each of the periods we teach during the day? Excellent question and answer is absolutely, of course you can. So what you would do is you'd actually just grab the general spinner here because you can make this anything you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. You can actually see I was kind of playing around with this uh, another time. So there's already some names on here, but if I wanted to go ahead and add to it or make it a little bit more personal to what you know I need for period one, period two, period three, I absolutely can do that. So I'm going to click on my three line menu here and boop, there we go. That is where I can go ahead and start adding additional names. So see, I was just kind of working down the, the alphabet here, but we'll go ahead and we'll spice it up. And um, so we'll add some other names that may not fall in line here. We'll add a Larry and maybe we'll add Ted and we'll add Susie. And what about a Nolan? Um, that would be great. So we'll say, say, and of course, you know, you might have upwards of 20 or 25 students. That's fine. You can just keep adding. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I hit update. So I've added all of my students and then I'm going to hit update. So now you can see it's just continuously updating. If I'm like, oh no, I forgot somebody, um, not a problem. All I have to do is go back in here and I can add another name. So I'll go ahead and add one more name and I'm going to hit update. And I'm like, okay, now I have everybody. One more click. I am going to go in. I'm going to right click this and I'm gonna hit add to my objects. So when I do that, I'm going to be able to add it and I can go ahead and choose what I wanna have. So if it's gonna be um, student spinner, I'm gonna do period one. And I'll do period one and ooh, let me spell that better. There we go. And maybe I wanna add my subject or something. Maybe I'm a history teacher. So there we go. And then I can save it as an image only, but with that, I wouldn't be able to spin it. So I'm not gonna click that. Uh, this one, I am not gonna share with the community because they probably don't have my students in their classes. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. So now this is going to be in my object. So this is my period one for history class spinner with all of my students. So if I go over into my objects, I am going to be able to scroll down. So you can see I did a period two, here's period one history. Uh, so there it is. So now it is saved into my objects and I can create as many of these customized spinners as I may want. So hopefully that is helpful. Of course, you could make anything, not just uh, for each period with all of your students, but you know, whatever topic you're gonna be teaching, if you wanted to do you know, foreign language words, or maybe you're doing uh, words and somebody has to come up and then draw the symbol, thinking about math terms and stuff like that. Sky's the limit, get creative. Hopefully this was helpful. And hopefully you are enjoying your New Line Engage cloud platform. Uh, until next time, keep the questions coming and we'll talk again soon.